Established January 1, 1947, the Defense Nuclear Weapons School has a rich 70-year history of training and education. Emerging from the Manhattan Engineering District, the school was conceived by Major General Leslie Groves as a training and education bridge between some of the world's best scientists, engineers, and the military officers and enlisted men that had to be ready to deploy the new and vastly complex atomic weapons. Starting as the technical training group under the Armed Forces Special Weapons Project, the school's initial focus was to train weapons technicians for the early atomic bombs. In 1959, the Armed Forces Special Weapons Project transitioned to testing and stockpile-centered operations and changed its name to the Defense Atomic Support Agency. The school continued to focus on nuclear technician and accident response training as thousands of airborne alert missions flown from 1958 to 1968 greatly increased the number of accidents that involved nuclear weapons. Changing its name in 1960 to the Atomic Weapons Training Group, and again changing to the Nuclear Weapons School in 1966, the mission was at its largest. Reduction in stockpile size as well as post-Vietnam defense cuts under the Nixon administration led to the end of the Defense Atomic Support Agency in 1970. The school was renamed the Inner Service Nuclear Weapons School and was transferred to the Air Force Training Command in 1972. In 1993, after the end of the Cold War, the Inner Service Nuclear Weapons School was transferred back to the Field Command Defense Nuclear Agency and in 1995 was renamed the Defense Nuclear Weapons School. In 1998, the school moved under the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. Today, the school has over 30 courses supporting the nuclear enterprise, warfighter force protection, radiological and nuclear response, and averages 15,000 students annually from across the services and interagency.